All right, people, here's how to draw the cone on a piece of paper. Now, I'm going to go through each one of these steps. This is where the shading goes. So I'm going to do down here, start with a upside down letter T. And then we've got this right here going this for the... Now again, this is my dark. So I'm pressing very lightly so I can erase all this. All right, and I'll connect these. Where the intersections are happening. All right, and so that takes us to this step. Now I see right here, oh yeah, I forgot to do this part. Uh -huh. That goes there. Okay, so I have this going down. There. All right. So at this point, I'm going to erase the stuff we don't need, which is this stuff because the cylinder is solid and be able to see through it. Let's forget that. Curvy. Up and down. And I'm going to leave this because that's okay. All right. We're going to be shading it. Now we have a two here. So I'm going to. Use cross hatching, I think. So I'm going to go cross hatching here. And then this is a one. We're going to go two again. Remember, with cross hatching, the more lines you use, the darker it's going to get. And then three. Now, three is one of the darkest areas. This is the part that's in shadow. So it's going to use a lot of lines. And then over here is four. This is the reflected light. So it's not going to be as dark as the three. All right. And then the five, which is down here, is going to be super dark. Now again, I'm cross hatching, not scribbling. I'm going to use individual lines. And just go through. You want to make where it's dark. If your thing doesn't look 3D, probably you didn't go dark enough where the value is the darkest. And you uh, maybe have filled in the light area. All right. And there is, let me get rid of that. There's a cylinder. I mean, cone. <laughs> 